Something that kind of drives me nuts is when people will say, Oh, I see gray area. But all they really see is one shade of gray, and then black and white. To make a nerdy reference, let's say there's CC, CC, CC as a lighter gray, and 333333 as a darker gray. And these people will take those those different shades of gray and say that they're all 7F, 7F, 7F. We're all the same. We're all human. And it's just not possible to get people to see that. And when you, when you talk with these people that do this, if you try to get them to see CC, 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 or 333333, they'll claim that you're turning things into a black and white situation. It's kind of maddening. Let's take, uh, we'll t I'll talk about the United States. I won't talk about it in other countries. I'll just talk about it within the United States. Let's compare what moderate Christianity is compared to what moderate Islam is. How many moderate Christians do you see that have to, I mean, they must dress and look in a way that they have to sort of announce that they are Christian. There's the element of dressing modestly versus dressing to extremes, dressing uh, provocatively in the sense of uh, you know, showing skin and stuff like that. Um, there's that, but that within itself is not uh, is not indicative of uh, of Christianity. When we see someone that's Christian that wears something that does show, oh, I am definitely a Christian, have this big, huge cross and uh, the, the sh uh, some sort of shirt that, that talks that says Jesus is the way or something like that, and you see that, and the first thing that you're gonna, people are going to assume is that this, this person is a fundy. But when Muslims wear things, or, you know, there's there's the Muslim beard. It's not it's not something that's worn for fashion. You do you do you do, do not see that type of beard worn just for fashion. Now there's people there are some Muslims that will just have a, a generally a long beard and that's different. But there's a certain style that as soon as you see it, you know the person's Muslim immediately. There's also, with women, the, the head covering. With the guys, there's a certain outfit that they'll wear, too. This certain off-white, sometimes actual white, this certain outfit. And you look at them and you immediately know that they're Muslim. But we're told, oh no, those are moderates. Really? They have to show, they have to put on a display saying that they are Muslim. But they're moderates? But if Christians put on a display, they're fundies. Now this is just a visual side of things. Let's take mindset-wise. A large percentage of moderate Christians will basically toss aside most of the Bible and just take the things that would be considered positive. You know, primarily taking some of the things that Jesus had said in the Bible and trying to live by it or at least approach a lot of situations by it. And when it comes to the judgmental sides of the Bible, they're like, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm not the person to make any sort of judgments. You know, 
if God does indeed make those kinds of judgments, it will be it will be up to God, not up to me. Or even just the element of, well, that's the way that people lived back then. Uh, that's the rules that people lived at the time. And we've found things differently. And a large percentage of moderate Christians will think in those sorts of ways. Now, the fundy Christians, there, there is a percentage of them. There is. And they usually end up being the loudest. And the fundy Christians seem to be the ones that have taken over the Republican Party. But we can call them fundies. And it's not really a problem. They, they're not moderates. With Islam, the ones that are considered moderates are like what we consider the fundies in Christianity. And the Muslims that are extreme are the ones that are this close to being considered terrorists. You know, uh, moderate Muslims, when you, when, you, when you hear that, you don't think of people that are like Sufis. That's not what gets thought of. So on one side, you've got, you know, uh, CC, CC, CC versus 333333. And when you try to have discussions about it, they go, no, no, it's all the same. It's all 7F, 7F, 7F. And if you try to push it any bit further, they're like, oh, well, you're just thinking in black and white. And it just, it, it, it bothers me. It does. It bothers me. And there's people that do this on just about any kind of subject, too. It's not just the subject of, of religion. I mean, there, there's people that will do that on just about everything. You shove forth percentages and they go, no, no, it's all the same. Yeah, just... What's wrong with you? <laughs> you can't you can't look at these these percentage differences. No, no, it's all the same. I see gray area. I see gray area. <laughs> I don't know. It's it's weird to me. It's weird to me.